we will discuss about the stacks in this lecture uh, suppose there are five students sitting in the front row of a class a teacher has asked them to submit their notebooks starting from student number one the teacher first submits the answer book of notebook of student number one then student number two then student number three then student number four and then student number five the teacher now has the notebooks of all the students and at the top of his hand the notebook is of student number five the teacher then submits uh, returns these notebooks back to the students so he picks the notebook of student number five and return it back to him in this way you can see that the last book which was taken by the teacher was of student number five <clears throat> and the same is returned back to the student as a first that means that the operation which is performed here is last in first out teacher has taken the notebook of last student and then he has returned the back return it back to the student which was the last one similarly the next one next answer book which will be returned is of student number four next answer book which will be returned is of student number three next one will be returned for student number two and finally student number one will get his answer book so in this way you can see that the first answer book which was collected is the last one to be returned by the teacher so you can see that the stacks are following an order which is the last in first out accordingly we can define the stack if i consider that these positions wherein the elements or the items are stored is the top location if i reiterate what was done earlier the answer book of student number 1 was stored in the stack if i say that this is the top position let us take the student number 2's notebook and store it at the top the top changes to this position now similarly if i am storing the book of third student store it at this position which is again the top for student number 4 this becomes the top for student number 5 this becomes the top now you can see that all the items are stored at the top position similarly if i if i'm going to return it back to the students then the top answer book is only <clears throat> returned to the students this way the top decrements to the next position if i again return it back to the student number four top decrements to the next position so you can see that the insertions and deletions are taking place at the same end which i can say is the top accordingly we can define the stacks now so stack is an ordered collection of items So which order the stack is falling is last in first out last in first out order so stack is an ordered collection of items into which items may be inserted or removed from same end called top top of the stack so it's a very simple definition that insertion and the deletions are taking place at the same end which is called top of the stack now if i uh, look at some of the applications of the stacks that will make you more familiar with the stacks now if i am working in any uh, editor text editor for example 
and I'm typing something in the text editor and then suddenly if you think that something went wrong you press the undo button and the recently typed characters are erased that means here last in first order operation is taking place let's take 